right, so new plan today. We're taking off all the exterior uh, T-molding. You can see all down here, I've got the sides and the top taken off. And uh, I'll get this uh, platform out of the way and get the, the bottom taken off. And then I can run the slide out in to get the molding off from the inside. And then the, then the slide out can come out and set flat on this platform that I'm on. So let's go take a look uh, on the inside. All right, so the issue I was having is all the molding that was around here, you can see I've got the top piece off, but um, there's aluminum angle uh, pieces that this these faux wood pieces are uh, screwed to. And it's screwed to the to the back side of these boards and then to the uh, to the sidewall of the slide out. So you can't get to those from the outside or from the inside just because there's no room to get in on either wall. You've got the bulkhead on this side, and then you've got the the wall for the uh, furnace and the the pantry cabinet there. There's just no way to get to it. So um, I'm I'm taking off that that outside molding and I'm going to run the slide out in turn it because I've got it unbolted from the mechanism, uh, get the, the aluminum angle off, and then I can slide it out onto the table. If you guys have a better idea or, or if you've done this before and and maybe I'm doing it completely wrong, I don't know. When I worked for Fleetwood, we, we weren't doing slide outs yet. So um, I, I worked for Fleetwood for about 10 years and uh, from 1991 until well, almost, almost 2000. So uh, it was just before we started doing slide outs or they started doing slide outs in the uh, motorhomes and they hadn't done them in the truck hampers yet. So let me know if there's an easier way. There's got to be an easier way than how I'm doing it. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below if you've got any ideas. All right, so all the exterior moldings off. I'm going to run it in. I found a bunch of rot on this wall here from the top all the way down about the top of that uh, door there so that's gonna have to be repaired might end up just rebuilding the whole slide out but we'll see it's gonna get it removed right now now with it in most of the way I should be able to lift it up and off since it's unbolted from the mechanism I should be able to lift it up and off of the mechanism to get to the back side of that aluminum and get those off. And then it can come out, I hope. I think that face, that sidewall face has to come off uh, before anything else can go in. But uh, look at how this is constructed here. There's a couple of screws that I've pulled out from along this seam here. And you can see there's a few more uh, on each side and then this wall comes off and then I can get to push this thing all the way in to get the angle aluminum off and then pull the whole thing back out well there you have it The exterior wall is off. Now I can bring the, the slide out in to get that other molding off. But look at all that, look at all that rot. So this is getting rebuilt. Might as well do it while I'm in here, right? All right, so now that I'm inside, I can pick it up and move it so I can access these screws here to remove this molding and then uh, the whole floor and everything can come out so I have access to everything underneath which is what I need to get to for the main repair which is the frame and of course now another repair is this slide out lots of uh, lots of water damage in this so that's going to be rebuilt it's an aluminum frame. It looks to me like uh, the one by twos and the Phylon and the, and the uh, Luon behind it, the backing will get uh, replaced. 
All right, so I just put some temporary bracing in the corners there. And now I'm gonna slide this thing out onto my storage platform. Boy, that really opens up the camper. Yeah, lots of space now. Okay, well, there's the slide out mechanism, the Happy Jack rack and pinion. Got the motor there, the gears, and uh, Everything looks good as far as that goes. This floor is all coming out. I'm gonna replace all that floor because it's rotten from underneath. <clears throat> and then of course, you can see the slide out's in uh, pretty bad shape. So I'll uh, probably end up rebuilding that whole thing. And But I gotta get the frame fixed first. So this uh, slide out mechanism has to come out. And then the support piece, the, the brace, that uh, aluminum that uh, is welded together, that has to come out. And then I should have access to the, uh, the frame on the inside of the sidewall that's actually broken. And I'll strengthen that up with some, uh, some angle and some Simpson ties, some of those 90 degree Simpson ties. And... Uh, re-weld where I can, if I can, and then uh, get this floor taken out and uh, rebuild it. Let's get moving. All right, to remove the Happy Jack slide out mechanism, it's four bolts, um, nine sixteenths. It's, uh, there's one there. One there, one there, and one there. Loosen those up, and then uh, from the inside, we'll have to remove, this is the uh, pole that goes from the outside um, for the manual crank. You just gotta slide everything this way, and that, that grommet will kinda pop out of the wall, and then uh, should be able to, there might be a nut on the outside, I'll take a look at that, but should be able to uh, slide this whole thing and remove it. All right, just slides back, and then the manual crank pull pulls out of the wall there. So there's just that little grommet. Don't lose that little rubber grommet because you'll need it to reseal <clears throat> when everything goes back together. So this can come out. Uh, motor and all so there's just a uh, little 12 volt quick connect right there and uh, that comes out all right so got couple of uh, little places where the wires are secured and then two places where your gas line for the furnace which is back there uh, so you got the AC wire for the plug in the bathroom and then these are all the 12 volt wires for the furnace and probably the rear jack uh, maybe the tail lights and all that kind of stuff too AC and 12 volt is uh, always run separately. You want to keep them, keep them as far apart from each other as possible. Like I said in the last video or a couple videos ago, make sure that you take photographs or video of how things are laid out and how they are put together. Um, so when you take them apart and go to put them back together, you know exactly how things are supposed to look. These four bolts there, those are the 
grade eight bolts that are uh, the front tie down points. And then the other ones are inside the electrical compartment. And they are 9 16 as well. Um, same as the bolts that were holding down the slide out mechanism. 9 16 bolts and 9 16 nuts on the other side. Easily cut the bracket, tie down bracket off. And uh, I'll get the other one that's inside the electrical compartment. But just wanted to show you this is where the wall broke. So after I get all of this trim off and all this trim off down here, uh, this is where that bracket will go. I'll have one on the outside and then I'll put one on the inside as well to uh, strengthen this point up. And I'll do it again on the top because I think it's the same way. It's, pro it's not broken as bad as this one, but that's why that's uh, dropped down which created all kinds of slide out problems and tie down problems and everything else. So get it fixed. I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but there's the other four bolts for the rear tie down. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these uh, 3 16 inch drive. Um, by I think two inch, maybe maybe even three inch. Oh. Uh, lags that go through. Well, they're inch and probably inch and a half, inch and three quarters. So there's all those need to come out because they go all the way through here into this uh, piece of wood underneath piece of aluminum actually underneath that's the aluminum frame under there so good once I get this out I'll have access to the uh, broken aluminum frame yeah so this is the that Luon and just this is that kind of paper stuff that it's glued to 16th of an inch Luon and then the the aluminum frame underneath so somewhere up in here back in here I guess is where it's broken so I'm just gonna start cutting all this stuff here access all this uh, aluminum get all that stuff out of there and of course I'm gonna replace everything that's rotten just rebuild this whole floor this whole shoulder and uh, like I said before I'll probably end up doing this in diamond plate or uh, some type of composite um, and get rid of all of this Luon that just rots. Okay, get this stuff out of here. Well, as you can imagine, everything, all the fasteners and everything that I'm pulling out, they're all rusted. The uh, all the the tie down bracket bolts. They were rusted, but they're grade eight bolts. They were surface rusted. They weren't. Uh, they weren't super corroded. The nuts still came off, you know, pretty easily. They're nylock nuts. Um, came off pretty easily. The bolts that secure the uh, slide out mechanism, uh, the happy jack slide out mechanism, those came out easily. Uh, they had a little surface rust on them, but again, um, came out came out pretty easily so but I'll replace all of the hardware so all the fasteners that I'm taking out um, will be replaced with new so uh, got the tie down points off got the slide out mechanism out got the obviously the slide out room is out and um, gonna start tearing the wall apart got to get the uh, electrical cord compartment door off just that plastic door it needs to come off so I can pull the phylon back uh, and and access that aluminum frame back there uh, the trim that goes around the slide out opening that all has to come out uh, just because I'm gonna look at all four corners uh, just if I need to make any repairs I might as well just do them while the slide outs you know out of the out of the camper so just make things a lot easier I won't have to worry about it down the road. So 
I'll get to that uh, another day, tomorrow or the next day. So I'm gonna, gonna stop for the day. It's pretty warm out. And uh, I'm gonna get the, uh, the hole in the side of the camper covered up. I got this uh, kind of makeshift tarp measured out and uh, taped up. So I'll throw that on there, get it all duct taped on there and call it a day. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Later.